All right, guys. Well, today we are opening from the vault Angels. And I have to say, I am just so excited for this. I stood out in front of the store for two hours before it opened just to make sure that I could get one. Angels are, of course, my favorite creature type in Magic. And now I have a lot of them, all foil. So we open it up here. Got a very, very pretty look into everything. But I'm not 100% on how this is opened, to be honest. It's not super intuitive. Frankly, it looks pretty darn smooth except for this end. Oh, well that popped open easier than I thought it would. Okay, it's got an inside tray and everything feels really nice and solid. Big fan. Okay, so let's talk about things one at a time, shall we? Get this box out of here. One at a time. So let's start with this life counter. It's got kind of like an opal look to it. Although, here we have a misprint. It's got some red where there should not be red. I don't know. It's just okay. But we didn't buy this for that. Bought this for cards, man. So let's open it up. Open it up. Now here's a card that I just love and is great in Commander. Wow, the foiling, the From the Vault foiling, actually not that bad for the Angels. I kind of like it. It's, it has an amazingly glossy finish. Probably show you guys some close-ups just to make sure you can see it. Here's Entreat the Angels. Classic miracle card. Exalted Angel, which frankly looks slightly creepy in this version. Iridescent Angel. Man, the foiling is just frankly fantastic. Looks, it actually looks good, the From the Vault foiling on these. And Janara, Asura of War. All right, let's look at a chroma. Now this was made, this art was done by Therese Nielsen. And it is just gorgeous. I assume a chroma number two is right underneath it. But really fantastic. And at the end of this video, I think I'm just gonna show a bunch of close-ups. Yeah, there's the other chroma. And this chroma, if I remember correctly, don't don't take it as absolute truth, but if I remember correctly, she's actually the the time spiral Akroma from that set. And in the alternate universe, she was, I guess, a little more angry, right? But yeah, these two arts are just beautiful from Therese Nielsen. I'm gonna definitely do some close-ups of that for later for you guys, right at the end of the video. Archangel of Strife. This art is just so good. The foiling just feels so weird on these, though. It makes me wonder if they can even be flattened out. Because, you know, it comes in the package with, uh, with a little bit of uh, bending. Now, Baneslayer Angel. This... Baneslayer Angel is so iconic that creatures are... Uh, there's basically a creature concept of being a Baneslayer, which is actually probably something that I should visit in one of my spiky videos at some point. The types of creatures in Magic. Now this card is pretty fantastic. Uh... There's a fun mass polymorph token deck that uh, 
oopsie daisies Iona onto the battlefield that I love. You know, I'm I'm a fan of the the jank decks. Lightning Angel from RK Post. I interviewed this guy. If you want to check out that interview, I've actually got the video up, so I'll just put a link to that, I guess. Platinum Angel, very unusual. You can't lose the game and your friend friends ugh. You can't lose the game and your opponents can't win the game. Very unusual effect. Sarah Angel by Rebecca Guy. If I remember correctly, this was a originally promotional uh, art and now has made it onto a card. Here we've got the Mardu Angel. <laughs> I've always found this to be a weird angel. White, black, red. Well, guys, that's the whole vault. I have to say, I am just so excited. Of course, like any reasonable store, they're selling only one copy per person. I'm sure I'd just go ham and just buy all the copies if I could, but... I've got the one copy, and Avacyn's looking fantastic. I just wanted to open this in front of you guys, show you, show you what the set's looking like.